Hi guys, in this video I'm going to do a pathology spot diagnosis tutorial. This is more targeted for the fifth years in the B Optime course. So I'll be showing you a slide and you have 10 seconds to view it. At the end of the 10 seconds I'll go through the signs and give you the diagnosis. There will be 10 images in total. I want you guys to think about what do you see? What are the differentials and what is the most likely diagnosis or pathology? If you guys are ready, let's go. In the first slide, we have the patient looking down. We can see there is some conjunctival hyperemia and a superior corneal ulcer. Here, the patient has microbial keratitis. Here's slide number two. It should be quite obvious, but there's an incomplete closure of the iris here. So, this is an iris coloboma. And the next slide. Here we can see a vertical grey opacity, which is corneal edema. And the patient here has corneal high drops from keratoconus. Slide number four. So there isn't a true diagnosis here, but more signs. We have an anterior chamber IOL, and you can see the haptics here plus an iridectomy. Don't get confused with an iridotomy, which is made with a laser and is smaller. Next slide. Here we can see conjunctival hyperemia and a central corneal opacity with some overlying staining. There are quite a few differentials we can have. For example, corneal hydrops again, HSK and acanthamoeba, but this patient has disciform keratitis. And slide number six. You can see the optic disc is raised superiorly with indistinct margins. This patient has papillitis or optic neuritis. Don't get confused with the papilledema as that is bilateral. Slide number seven. This one again is pretty obvious with textbook subconjunctival hemorrhage. And here's slide 8. Here we have folds and wrinkles inferiorly and a clear demarcation line just below the macula. This patient has an inferior retinal detachment. Second to last slide. So there are multiple opacities scattered around the cornea called numula infiltrates. Numula by definition means round or resembling a coin. Numula infiltrates makes this a textbook viral 
keratoconjunctivitis. conjunctivitis. And the last slide. You can see the cornea is opaque peripherally and we have sutures 360 degrees with a clear central cornea. This is a corneal graft. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it during this lockdown and thanks for watching. And a shameless plug for me, like and subscribe and comment.